In April 2023, we had the special episode to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Power Rangers, although it was actually to celebrate Mighty Morphin. This special episode was released on Netflix and this platform is now in charge of releasing Power Rangers episodes. They have not yet published all the seasons, although it is something they should do, but for now they have published the seasons of Mighty Morphin, Ninja Steel, Beast Morpher, and Dino Fury. We don't know if these seasons are being watched by many people, but what we do know is that Netflix had posted that the special episode was a total success. This is something very impressive since possibly the company did not expect that the special episode would not be so successful, and this is possibly because the Power Rangers seasons that they have published may not be so widely viewed. Obviously, this is simply just a theory, since we all know that the special episode was expected by many fans, but it also attracted many other old fans who have not been watching the series for a long time. This caused the special episode to rank among the most watched series on Netflix on its premiere and this could be a good sign for everyone. We know that the special episode had to happen since it was the 30th anniversary of the franchise, but what we may not have realized is that this could have just been a test run for something better. When many companies don't have the confidence in their product, what they do is that they release a test version to see if they can succeed in the project. In addition to this, this test helps them to know the negatives and positives so they can create a final product that is more likely to be a success. Remember that now the franchise is not going to depend on the Japanese series, so they have a clear path to start on what could be a much bigger franchise than it already is. By not depending on Japan, they can start creating a more organized universe in which we can have new series and new movies every year. Basically, something similar to what happens in the comics, which present the multiverse and time travel in a more organized way. We know that in the Power Rangers series on television we have time travel and the multiverse, but this is really something that has not been developed very well. Possibly the reason for this is that the target audience of Power Rangers may not have the capacity to understand this, remember that the target audience of the series is from 4 to 8 years old. This is why in the comics they can play more with multiverse stories and time travel since their audience is much older. Another thing Hasbro may have been testing with this special episode is the attempt to change the age range of the target audience for Power Rangers. It has already been confirmed that this special episode was created for the whole family, but specifically with adults in mind and here it could be confirmed that if they make a series for adults, then it could be a hit. Since the Power Rangers was first released it was always meant for kids and unfortunately the franchise could not change this as almost everything came from the Japanese series. Now with the freedom they have they can experiment to see if it is possible to change the franchise and make it suitable for all audiences. We don't know if it would be possible for them to change the franchise completely and make it only for adults. This is a bit difficult, but if we think about it, it is not such a crazy idea since many children don't watch TV anymore. Nowadays kids prefer to watch YouTube videos of other kids playing, plus many others just want to play video games. This causes TV shows to not have much importance and even though Power Rangers is on a platform like Netflix, still, it's not something that kids today are looking for. Another consequence of this is that kids are no longer buying toys and if you go to a store, you will notice that the toy area never has people in it. Basically, the people who are buying toys are the same adults who want to collect action figures. We know this is a very unfortunate fact, but this is the reality we live in now and we must learn to change in order to continue to survive. If Hasbro wants Power Rangers to continue to survive, they must begin to change the targeted audience for the franchise, and this was demonstrated with the special episode. 
It also proved that many are still waiting for a movie as many people were complaining that the episode was short-lived. My opinion is that this special episode could have been a preview of what could be a movie in the future because even though the producers had a low budget, that didn't matter to the fans, and we still loved this special episode. If this episode had the budget of a movie and they had been allowed to make a two-hour project, then we could say that the franchise was going to have one of the best movies ever. As we've talked about in the last few videos, the franchise hasn't had a good movie since 1995, a movie that is worthy of admiration and makes us proud of Power Rangers. If the special episode was the project to test if they could make a movie, then we must say that it is confirmed that this movie would be a total success. If we analyze the positive and negative things that they can learn from this possible test with the special episode, then we would say that the movie must have the following that we are going to mention. In the positive things that should exist in the movie is that they should include old rangers, no matter what season they are from, it is always a good idea to have rangers that the fans already know. Another thing is that they can have old villains, even though the main villain is new, just like what happened in 1995. They should also keep applying nostalgia since that got us all excited and brings back all the memories of the past. Another thing is that they cannot lose the essence of what Power Rangers are and the best example of this was when the Yellow Ranger could not transform because her intention was revenge. Precisely this is the essence of the Power Rangers, what represents each one of them, to be worthy of that power, to have a good heart and to want to save others. The negative things that can be improved are the special effects, which we know that with a good budget they can improve a lot. They can also improve the costumes and not keep using the same material. They should be careful with this change as they should not lose the Power Rangers style as they did in the 2017 movie. Another thing they should improve is that the ending should be epic, and this is something they have not been able to achieve in any Power Rangers movie. This is something very strange since the series is very much characterized by always having an epic ending in almost every episode. Hopefully this special episode was really a test of what the future of the franchise may hold, and we know that it proved that we the fans support good projects. If you think the special episode was a good test, like this video and subscribe for a better future of Power Rangers.